Welcome back, everyone. Well, if you are one of those people who watch a lot of cooking shows, then you know the chefs on there can certainly make it look pretty easy, right? Yeah, they do. Well, that's especially true when it comes to cutting things like vegetables. And to help us look like pros but stay safe, we've got uh, executive chef Mark Pollard here with us. All right, Mark, thanks for being here, first I of all. I am so glad. We're I so glad to see you all. again. It's I know. It's been, it's been several so months. Now we're all back together. Isn't this great? Yeah, you were telling me that um, okay. this knife cutting uh, skill class that you have is one of the most popular ones. When, when I have taught knife skills, it really is. It's one that, mm -hmm. that people have a hard time getting into because they all want to know why do I have these fancy knives yeah. what is it all about and if we can teach people to use it and use it safely mm -hmm. then they're going to do a whole lot better job with it I can remember when I first started using knives and I mean I was a little squirt <laughs> and my father put a knife in front of me and a box of band-aids and he said which one do you want to know about <laughs> I don't want to know about uh -oh. those I want to know about this <laughs> yes. so it's very very important that you use good knife skills mm -hmm. you can uh, pick them up as you go along learn them in culinary school do whatever you want to do but just learn how to do it correctly the first thing about knives mm -hmm. is that a sharp knife is a very safe knife. Mm -hmm. Dull knives, not so much. Right. That's how people get hurt. So we want to be sure that your knives stay sharp all the time. And you were asking me a little bit about how to keep them sharp. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I use a lot, my, one of my best friends is my knife steel. Now your steel is really, as I was saying, it tunes your knife. I look at my blade, yes, I'm looking like a real nerd, and I look down <laughs> it, and I can see whether the blade is sliding one way or the other. And so then just by using the weight of the knife, not pushing on it, it's just all the way down on each side like that. Mm. Very simple. And if you've got your knife in a sharp position, then you shouldn't have to do that so many times. Right. Now, if you have to sharpen your knife, if it needs to go onto a wet stone or something like that, if you've never used one, don't do it. Okay. Get, okay. get someone to do it. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of really cool websites out there now called knifeaid.com. You can send your knives off and they'll do it for like $8 a knife. Um, there are some automatic knife sharpeners. I like a, mm -hmm. I like a stone. Mark, we got about a minute left. Yeah. Okay, so we want to get right. to, um, you know, maybe you can quickly tell us what all these knives okay. are for. And um, then maybe one technique. Your chef's knife, mm -hmm. pretty much the catch-all, be-all knife. It will mm -hmm. do everything you want it That's to do. That's for veggies, right? Right. Mm -hmm. but boning knife, which has a lot of flexibility here, so okay. it, will, it will go around bone. A fillet knife, very, very sharp, great angle here. Mm -hmm. A serrated knife, great for breads, great for tomatoes, oh, things yeah. that, that, that can get soft on you. Okay. Um, quick thing to tell you, mm -hmm. make a claw with your hand, keep your thumb back, down and forward, down and forward, down and forward, down and mm -hmm. forward. With slicing, with chopping, you're going to chop like this with your hand up, almost pushing your fingers towards the lights, okay. back and forth like that. Cutting an onion, one of the biggest things we see. Don't make this real hard. What you want to do, see how it has lines all the way through it? Uh -huh. I can come down here, 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 here. Oh, it's very simple. Yeah. And keep my, keep my fingers. Lines. Oh, yeah. It's, oh it's like the, it has its own little road map for success. Mm -hmm. Just that simple. So now we go all the way around. And now turn it this way. You don't have to cut through it horizontally. Make your claw again. Make it tight. Mm -hmm. Down and forward. Whoa. Down and forward. Oh down and forward. Down and oh forward. Down gosh. and forward. And see, now you get perfect little little dice every single Look time. So it's just that That's simple. Awesome. Make it very easy. If you're cutting something like zucchini, mm -hmm. cut a little strip off here mm -hmm. so that it will sit flat. Make things sit flat. Okay. Um, okay. With your onions, yeah, don't you don't cut want the end off. Around, right? No, right. no. You want don't to keep cut all the end off place. on the onion. Don't cut the end off because see, it'll hold it all together mm -hmm. while you're cutting it, and it makes it a whole lot better. Plus, we release a lot of the enzymes that make us cry oh, right. right there. Yeah, we're oh, crying because oh, we're out of time, okay. right? <laughs> yeah. So we don't or want to cry. At least our, our producer is. Try not to scrape with <laughs> yeah, your knife. Yeah, exactly. Try not to scrape the vegetables okay. up with your knife. Use mm -hmm. a food scoop or oh, even like scoop. a pastry cutter or uh -huh. something and just put it into a bowl. Awesome. we got to have you back to talk more. We can do lots more. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, thank you. You're See, the I best. still have fingers. <laughs> Carolina Warner coming up right after this. <laughs>